The next 30 days will never be forgotten. What went down will be told about for many years to come. Now let me tell you about the most deadliest month in Storyville history, aka the month of hell. It all started with Big Charles sending Shooter to do his dirty work. Shooter slid through 1200 looking for blood, and he caught that nigga D-Rock slipping and let it over. Rock ended up getting away untouched, but this will only ignite the beef even more. Once Nino heard about what happened to D-Rock, y'all already know what time it was. They caught TJ and Lil Mike hanging on Loyola, shots let off, and Lil Mike hit the ground. D-Rock stood over him and put two shots in his grill, finally catching his first body. At this point, Big Charles started getting desperate after realizing he downed five on the scoreboard. So he ordered Shooter to take out Dada and Lil Dell, two brothers from Amelia Street as known to affiliate with 1200. Shooter came through and did what Shooter do. He shot the shit out them little niggas. And the sad part is, they was only 11 and 12 years old. But that's the thing, the streets ain't got no age limit. And if you with that shit, then you on the menu, just like everybody else. Now we can't forget about them m block niggas. Here, they wasn't done making noise just yet. Fat Sean came home from the hospital and got active real quick. Them niggas ended up kidnapping TJ. They took son to a parking garage and Fat Sean set his body on fire, burning him to death and finally catching his first body. At this point, Big Charles decided it's time for him to get active, get back in the field and put that work in itself. He laced his boots up and got ready to slide. But later that day, Shooter was seen getting in the car with his grandmother when Nino came out of nowhere and started tearing the whole whip up. Shooter hit the ground while dodging every bullet, but his grandmother got hit in the arm. But luckily, she survived. Not long after that, Fat Sean and Twin was hanging out in the doorway when Fat Sean got tired and went upstairs to lay down. Twin decided to hang out a little longer, and that's how the L's caught him slipping. They pulled up, and Big Charles hung out the window with his Mac 11. He hit Twin multiple times in the chest and stomach. They pulled off, leaving him to bleed to death. The score was now 6-3, with M blocking 1200 being in the lead. I was in a storm, sitting tears, couldn't speak. Shorty hit my phone, cause it's billing on the T. So my bro, he not alone, he got the block and he got me. If you taking one of mine, just know he's sliding every week. You would think that I'd be lying, all the shit that I done seen. You know they're paying to the strong, but it's making me too weak. I know bro, they close to comb every day, cause he a tweet. My niggas outside, you at home, posting tweets. Now I don't know what the hell that happened or how all this shit got started, but what I do know is I got bodies dropping on my watch. Shit, five in the past seven days alone. That makes me look like I'm not doing my job. So that means problems for each and every one of you in this war now, or you'll be going away for a very long time. Yo, Big Charles, what the f been going on over there? Y'all niggas is wildin', son. We at war, nigga. You throw what happened. All I'm saying is y'all niggas got the whole bill hot, not just Parkside which makes it difficult for me to run my business. Nigga, fuck your business. I just lost six niggas to this war, and you talking about a business? Man, this shit became personal when my nephew got killed. And you wanna know something else, nigga? I ain't stopping till every last single nigga is dead, nigga. That's for a fact. Hey, lower your tone, my nigga. Ain't y'all down on the score anyway? Yo, ain't nobody talking to you, little Frankie. This bitch is between me and your boss, nigga. Yeah, all right, whatever, nigga. He got a point, Big Charles. The way things going, y'all go go extinct f***ing with them M block and 1200 niggas. Oh, so you and them niggas dick now? Motherf***, I got a reputation to protect. Man, them niggas gonna have to kill me before I bow down. You know, a man of wisdom is a man who knows he can't win every fight. A man who knows when to hold him and when to fold him. But see, a man of ego is a man that thinks losing is worse than dying trying to win. A man that doesn't know that a loss is merely a lesson that he can learn from. Now I see what type of man you are. Shit got hot last week, son. Yeah, I know, Rock. There was too much going on, man. All I know is I got me. That ball of Mike. Yeah, that was my work. Damn, for real? I told you I was trying to get active, son. Nigga wasn't playing. I got tired of getting shot at. I just wonder will this war ever end? Shit, hopefully soon. Nigga can't even make no money out here. It's just straight shots every time a nigga leave the crib. Shit crazy, yo. Yo, say, Slim. The streets is about to change, bro. We gotta change with it, or we gonna get left behind. That nigga Big Charles is about to fall, which is gonna open up the drug trade in Parkside. We can have the whole field shopping from us, but not with Terry as the leader. He'll never go through with it. He's too soft. Right now, 
we should be preparing for a takeover, not just sitting back. Yo, Shooter, I got some niggas for you that I want you to meet. This right here is Nero and B-Man. And shit, they the only two little niggas that I found that got enough heart to get down with this shit. We still got a war to fight, fellas. Win or lose or draw, we still got a whole Loyola down. What up, Fat Chris? Long time no see, boy. Glad to see you back home. You know they can't hold a real nigga down forever, Nino. Nah, that's a fact. I know you heard about Loyola's new recruits. Oh, yeah? Who they picked up? This bitch-ass nigga named Nero. I've been one of that nigga dad since before I got booked. Oh, yeah. And some stick-up kid named B-Man. Yeah, I know B-Man from around the way. It ain't shit to get up with him. I bet. You handle B-Man. I got something for Nero, bitch ass. For sure, you know I'ma hold it down. I'll get up with you later, Fat Chris. Well, well, well. It must be my lucky day. Maserati T in the building come and spend some of that real side money. What up, Sticks? I need some new shit. I thought you was neutral in this war. What's going on? Shit, I am. Until I'm not no more. Just look at this as a safety measure. For sure, for sure. Well, shit, this all I got left. Damn, that's it? Yeah, man. Ben has been booming ever since this war kicked off. These pipes and high demand these days. This all I got left, son. Take it or leave it. Damn. Give me them bitches, son. This should be enough for the moment. It was a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> now y'all make it home safe, now. Nah. All right, Slim. Take this bag and get that work off, my nigga. I'll be back to get you when you run out. All right, Frankie. This show stop. Same shit I told the Slim applies to you as well. Nah, bro, this ain't how we been doing things, Terry. Me and Slim always trapped together. We get tired of all this changing shit up all the time shit. Man, I don't care what you tired of, nigga. Do what I say and don't question my decision making. Never forget this my shit. The Goodfellas, Riverside, everything. It's all mine. I'm the big dog, nigga. Now get the fuck out my face. What up, Nino? Not you again. What you want now? Damn. I thought you'd be happy to see me. <laughs> Why would you ever think that? Because I'm the only reason you ain't behind bars right now, little ass nigga. Yeah, wipe that smile off your face. Yeah, I hear you, man. You got some money for me or something, huh? Can't make no money in these streets right now. Shit too hot. Mm-mm-mm. A damn shame. How you gonna go to war broke, Nino? Now that ain't smart, is it? I ain't trying to hear that shit right now, bro. Okay, I get it. I ain't here for a long conversation anyway. All I'm gonna say is next time I see you, you better have some money for me or your ass is going to jail. Whatever, man. Damn, I hate the police. Matter of fact, I got something for his dirt ass. I know you lied. <laughs> okay, Nino. That's how you want to play? I bet. Fat Chris kept his word and caught Nero hanging by the pump. He chased him down and left that nigga dead on the scene. Yo, Chris, you good, bro? Bro, I just caught that nigga Nero down bad. What happened? I put that nigga down, what you think? Huh, take the burner and hide it with the others. I gotta get this gunpowder off me. I got you, bro. Come on. You gotta be the stupidest little nigga this hood has to offer. You gonna vandalize my car and think you could get away with it? I'm gonna f*** you up, Nino. <laughs> I don't think I know what you talking about, detective. Sorry to hear about your vehicle, though. That shit crazy. Yeah, you gonna slip up, and when you do, I'm gonna be right there to catch your ass. I'm gonna see you around. Rock, we gotta end this war right now. The boy's on a nigga dick. I need that nigga big charge and shoot a gone. 
You got the drop on them boys yet? Nah, not yet. But I definitely got the drop on that nigga B-Man you was telling me about. Oh, yeah? That's good enough. You coming along for the ride or what? I'm going to hang back this time around. You be safe out there, cuz. Come on, Rock. This Nino. I'm forever good, son. I'll be back in a few. Nino steals a car from the alleyway and pulls up on B-Man. When B-Man sees Nino, he takes off, but he couldn't outrun the car. Nino ends up hitting B-Man with the whip, then he hops out and shoots B-Man four times in the chest. Then he hops back in the car and rolls over his body and head multiple times. As assumed, B-Man dies on the scene. When Nino got back to Amelia Street, he parked the whip on the back block and walked home with his gun still in his hand. Man, what the f*** is this, detective? Put the gun down and turn around with your hands behind your back. You are arrested for the illegal possession of a firearm, and boy, you better pray nothing comes back on that gun. And just like that, Nino then crashed out. But sometimes in the streets, you ain't got no choice but to crash out. At least that's how Nino seen it. He ain't even try to fight it. He dropped his gun and took the arrest on the chin. And just like Nino, Fat Chris was facing a similar situation. His hideout got raided by the police, and that nigga Fat Chris wasn't going back to jail. So he took his chances in a close range shootout against six highly trained officers. As expected, Fat Chris was assassinated, but not before killing two officers and injuring another one. With Fat Chris and Nino out the game, Fat Sean and D-Rock would now take over for M-Block and 1200. Yo Frankie, I need you to get rid of all our old phones. I know the boys been tracking them. Slim lost his phone last night, but I, right, where your phone at? I put it in the bag. Uh-huh, take this. It's your new phone. I'm gonna get up with Slim and give him his. For sure, for sure. Good looking, my nigga. I already saved my new number in there. Hit my line if anything come up. All right, Terry. I'll get up with you here later. Frankie ended up using Terry's old phone to set up a meet with Big Charles for later that night. Big Charles agrees to the meet and says he'll be there. Yo, Fat Sean, I don't trust this nigga, bro. Shit, me either. But I don't think it's us that shouldn't be trusting him. Look who number he gave us. Lord, that's crazy. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, Nino. Just take the plea. It's a good deal, man. Ten years ain't no damn good deal. It's either that or 25 to life. Now you choose your fate. Either you come home in your 20s or you come home in your 40s. The choice is yours. Yo, Rock. I had to take a plea deal, little cuz. I'll be back in 10 years. I need you to hold it down out there and never forget what I taught you. Also, I need you to promise to keep my little brother out the streets. Neef ain't built for this shit like me and you. I love you, Rock. Be safe. Yeah, nigga. I know you wasn't expecting to see us. So this nigga Terry went behind my back and cut a deal with y'all niggas? Man, I can't make this shit up. Nah, that's not even the case. Regardless, this is where your story comes to an end. Yo, Rock, which one you want? You shooter, right? Yeah, you the one that shot at me, bitch. I ain't forget. I guess it's just me and you then. I just want you to know that you taught me the greatest lesson I ever learned in the streets. And that's to show no mercy at war. So for that, I thank you. Bitch ass nigga. And just like that, the war as we know it was finally over. With an ending score of 10 to 3, M Block and 1200 will reign victorious. Yo, what the hell? How this nigga Big Charles get my new number? This nigga said he want me to meet him in 20 minutes. Let me see what this nigga want, man. I'm sorry things had to turn out like this, Terry. I'm always love you like a brother, you know? But I gotta do what I gotta do. You making a big mistake, Frankie. You know you ain't gonna get away with this. Yes, I will. This is the move that needs to be made for me to take over the leadership of the Goodfellas organization. That's all it's about for you? What about everything I done for you, huh? What, now you can't talk now, nigga? I built this shit brick by brick. Me, nigga. This gonna forever be my shit. My mind's already made up, my nigga. Ain't no turning back. Like you always say, it's business. 
Nothing personal. Okay, come on, Frankie. Don't do this shit, man. I gotta be here for my little brother. It ain't always about you, man. Don't worry, bro. I promise I'll always look after T-Man. That's the least I can do. 